In the annals of crime and punishment, there exist stories that shock the conscience. Stories of unimaginable horrors, of ordinary lives intersecting with extraordinary evil. Our tale begins in the year 1988 in a quiet, sun-drenched corner of Florida. This was a place where neighbors knew each other, where kids played freely in the streets and where the sense of community was strong. But this tranquility was about to be shattered. In the heart of this idyllic community lived Patricia Patsy Miller, a dedicated nurse and a beloved figure. Patsy's warm smile and nurturing nature made her a pillar of this close-knit community. But one day, the unimaginable happened. Patsy, the beacon of care and compassion, was found brutally murdered in her own home. The shockwaves of this atrocious crime reverberated through the community, leaving a lasting scar on the face of this peaceful neighborhood. Nurse Patricia Patsy Miller, a pillar of her community, was brutally murdered in her own home. 36 years later, justice was served as James Philip Barnes met his fate on death row. But who was this man who cast such a long, dark shadow over the lives of so many? Barnes, a figure of menace and intrigue, had a past marred by violence. He was already incarcerated, serving a life sentence for the murder of his own wife, when he made a shocking revelation. He confessed to the brutal murder of Patricia Miller. His chilling admission sent ripples through the courtroom as he laid bare the details of that fateful night. A night when a beacon of the community was extinguished in the most tragic of circumstances. This confession marked a turning point in the case casting Barnes not just as a man capable of horrific violence, but also as a man seemingly haunted by his own actions. Barnes, a man with a dark past, was already serving a life sentence for the murder of his wife when he confessed to Miller's killing. Representing himself, Barnes made a shocking admission to the court. In a chilling turn of events, he pleaded guilty to the heinous charges of rape, murder and arson. As the courtroom fell into stunned silence, Barnes began to recount the gruesome details of that fateful night. Each word painted a horrifying picture of the cruelty inflicted upon Patricia Miller. The recounting was so graphic, so explicit, that it left no room for doubt about Barnes's guilt. His detailed confession sent shockwaves through the courtroom. Each revelation became a chilling testament to the brutality of his crimes. The trial, already a spectacle due to Barnes's self-representation, took on an even darker tone as the depth of his depravity was laid bare. In the end, Barnes's shocking admission and guilty plea left an indelible mark on all present. He pleaded guilty to rape, murder and arson, recounting the horrific details of that tragic night. Locked away, Barnes found solace in religion, seeking redemption as the end drew near. His days became a countdown, each tick of the clock echoing louder in his solitary confines. He turned to faith, seeking comfort in prayer and scripture, as the grim reality of his impending fate loomed ever closer. His last days were marked by a quiet acceptance. He confessed to his crimes, expressing remorse and seeking forgiveness, not from the world that had cast him aside, but from a higher power he hoped would grant him a final mercy. The day of his execution arrived. A somber air hung heavy over the prison as Barnes was led to his final destination. His last words, a whisper of repentance, echoed in the silence. In the end, justice prevailed as James Philip Barnes met his final reckoning. The case of James Philip Barnes serves as a sobering reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring pursuit of truth and justice. As the curtain falls on this chapter of history, may the memory of Patricia Miller endure and may her spirit find peace.